Miraculously, baby Chiru are able to walk within 30 minutes of being born. It's that standing still part that's so difficult. Within a few days, they can run like their mothers. The Lost Boys have invited him to play an ancient, traditional monkey game called Let's Break Branches. Golden snub nosed monkeys run wild. Monkeys have long been figures of rebellion and mischief in Chinese folktales. And one of the most mischievous monkeys on this mountain is Tao Tao. He's the class clown of his troop and an aspiring kung fu master. At two years old, Tao Tao no longer needs to be overseen by his parents but he still likes to come home to his father's side after a long day of adventuring. Tao Tao just loves his dad. This is the first snowfall Tao Tao's sister has ever seen. Her pure amazement is a welcome distraction from the hardships of winter. What is this stuff? Whatever it is, it's cold. Must get to higher ground. Yes, snow is a bummer, and it's really cold on your hands. The one upside is, it's a perfect excuse to walk like this. Outside of raising cubs, adult female pandas live almost completely solitary lives. So for Yaya, this is the most treasured time of her life. These two will be spending the next several months snuggled up here inside this den. But then, they'll step out into the world. And the real journey will begin. There's so much.
Oh my gosh, that was so embarrassing. Yaya's instinct is to keep her cubs safe. But she can't protect Mai Mai forever. At some point, she's going to have to let go. Just, maybe not today. This is Dawa. And this incredible dreamscape is her home. At an altitude of 14,000 feet above sea level, the climate here is too cold for most mammals. But Dawa, thrives here. Every part of her body is designed for this unique terrain. From her exceptionally long tail that helps her maintain balance, to her gray dappled fur that provides the perfect camouflage in these rocky surroundings. Dawa is at the top of her food chain and at the top of her game. She knows every crag and cranny of this mountain. Dawa is not a feline to be messed with. And right now, nothing could shake her resolve. After all, it's not just her hunting grounds she's protecting. To her, these two little cubs are the most important things on Earth. Providing for them and keeping them safe is her life's mission. Disney Nature proudly invites you to its most ambitious film yet. A groundbreaking journey inside the breathtaking wilds of China. This film, I think, is groundbreaking in the sense that it really gives the audience a view into China that we don't see. What's really magnificent about the footage is how incredibly difficult it is to get that footage. The Qinghai Plateau is 14 to 16,000 feet high. Most mammals couldn't exist there, but for the snow leopard and a select few number of uh, animals, it's their home. The mountains of Sichuan, where the monkeys and pandas live, is pure cinematic magic. We follow these three amazing families. And possibly the cutest little creature in all of the animal kingdom. 
The story of each of these animals touches our heart in a way that only Disney can. Disney Natures, Born in China. See Born in China opening week and Disney Nature will make a donation to World Wildlife Fund to help protect wild pandas and snow leopards in China. Hey, Vale here. Like me, are you a movie lover? Well, a list has been released of the top 100 films of the 21st century, and we have cut it down to give you the top 10 films as selected by 177 film critics from around the world. At number 10, No Country for All Men by Joe and Ethan Cohen from 2007. At number 9, A Separation by Asghar Farahadi from 2011. Number 8, Yee Yee, A One and uh, A Two by Edward Yang from 2000. Number 7, The Tree of Life by Terence Malik from 2011. Number 6, Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind by Michael Gondry from 2004. Number 5, Boyhood by Richard Linklater from 2014. Number Number four, Spirited Away uh, by Ayao Mikayadzi uh, from 2001. Number three, There Will Be Blood by Paul Thomas Anderson from 2007. Number two, In the Mood for Love by Wong Karvai from 2000. And number one, Mulholland Drive by David Lynch from 2001. Do you agree with this list? How many of these films have you seen? Let us know in the comments below and remember, if you haven't already done it, to subscribe to our channel for all the latest trailer releases. Bye-bye.